the Secanolia Security Show in proud partnership with Centenary Bank and MTN. Hey, happy Independence Weekend. My name is Dr. Michi Guang, and guess what? It's time again for another session of the Secanolia Security Show. This week, I've got a simple question. What is personal security? What does it mean to you? How much does it mean to you? Well, we've got stories, we've got experiences, we've got insights that you have never heard live on this show. So, we've got the lights, we've got the camera, it's time for the action. And our guests on today's show, collectively they've got close to 30 years of experience on radio. Two of Uganda's finest MCs, one marketing guru, one communication specialist. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the set Roger Mugisha and Ronnie Habasa. Whoa! Welcome to the Secanolia Security Show. Today's edition, we're calling it a special one. It's an Independence Weekend Triple R edition. To my left, I've got Roger Mugisha. To my right, I've got Ronnie Habasa. My show today is about personal security. Right. And, you know, personal security is wide. It's, it's anything that you are going to do to keep yourself, well, away from any harm, any, 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 anything which is dangerous. Yeah. So, I just want to know, personal stories, do you, do you have any? Let's start, let's start off with you, Ronnie. Ah, you know, I'm a guy who's into dogs. You're a vet. Uh, yeah, I have, uh, yeah, I have all these what, what canines type, what, at home. What but, type um, of dogs do you have? Oh, well, I have German Shepherds, St. Bernard's, uh, to mention but a few. So I'm the dog man. If you need a dog, I'm the guy you come to. Sure, you go. Yeah, sure, But, you but go. proceed, proceed. <laughs> but at least my dogs are not the kind that I saw. There's a guy who, you know, had this advert on his gate. Umbu Akali, mad dog, bad dog, dangerous. Yes. Don't mess. Uh -huh. Our guys were looking for a bad dog. So they do. They stole the dog. <laughs> <laughs> They went shopping yeah. to the right place. I mean, you put Umbu Akali and the guy said that's exactly what we're looking for. And man, the guy woke up, they had stolen his dog. So, I don't know. Me, I'm not a, a dog keeper of sorts. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 but I had an experience. Was, was your dog for security or was it was just a pet for, you for know, companionship? You know, a scarecrow sort of, you know, yeah. security dog pretty yeah. much. Uh, but I discovered Ugandans know how to get around these things now. This one particular day when they, uh, you know, I got robbed, I thought I thought I was a hard jammer to rob. Like yeah. frankly speaking, yes, yes. I was like, me, that guy. You know why would you even rob him? Oh, why? Where, where are you staying, by the way? I, we this need is, to know. This is Bunga, by the way. Uh, that's that's where the Wagaga stay. Mm -hmm. yeah, Tell yeah. us. And proceed. by the way, it's not so far away from me. Uh, there's a general. Okay. So I was clue clue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but these thieves took their time. They they uh, they. I think they connived with my my mate. Yes. And uh, next thing I know. The dogs are eating chicken and chips. And they are not bothered about what happened. I lost a microwave, I lost a TV, a flat screen TV, I do quite a couple of things. So, so wait a second. These 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 thieves invested in KFC, okay. gave to your dogs, yes. they went to sleep and, and they cleaned your house. Well they, they cleaned the house and you know what was very embarrassing is I was I was present. <laughs> That's why I tell guys, don't feed your dogs on Mokene, you know? By the time they give them KFC, there's no way they are going to listen to. <laughs> no, no, but, no, but uh, this is it, huh? As a vet, one of the things which, which we are taught is that if you're going to train your dogs, there's something called conditioning. Yeah. So you must build a certain program. The dogs know that, one, I'm fed only by either Roger or Ronnie. I'm fed at this time, at this time. and then I'm fed only by this type of, uh, this method, in a plate like this. this dish, yeah. yeah. There's a friend of mine who was actually training his dog, and what he used to do is that he used to do, you know, sample, sample off-the-cuff things. Huh? So he would throw meat in the corner and hide. So when the dog goes into, into it, the guy gets his catapult, and, and, and canes the dog, just so that the dog is like, oh, that's pain. Yeah. And pain is associated to eating the wrong things. Yeah. Eating from the wrong place. That's it, okay. that's it. It's actually not the time that yeah. thieves look for it's, it's because of the fact that there's lack of lighting. You know, where there's more darkness, you know, I can hide. Of course. So, so, you know, one of the best things you could do is that if you ever find yourself in a dark place and you're feeling unsafe, yeah. try to move into a place with more light. And, and like, like your, your story, huh? 
if, if you had had more lighting around your house and the rest, I'm sure it would have been more difficult for people to access. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think it's a big deal. I mean, invest in lighting. Um, at my house, so you have Yaka, yes. but if it goes off, there's also solar, at Correct. least for security lights, so yeah. that 24-7, you may think, ah, I'm running the bill, I'm running the meter, but uh, what's the opportunity cost? You no, know? So I, I you don't want to have darkness, you don't want to have blind or dark spots. There's a tree, then there's covering. And, and, and speaking about blind spots, you see, if ever you're in a place and, and maybe you're feeling threatened, yeah. you know, like quite a number of places have CCTV cameras now. Oh, yeah. What you'd want to do is you go and stand so that you can be seen, you know, so there I'll know that there's somebody on the other side who's watching. Yeah. And, and, and thugs will say, ah, if I'm going to rob somebody, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and do it in a dark place, yeah. not in a place where there's a CCTV camera. But another thing also is, look, when, when you have phones, the reason why people have phones is to communicate. Yeah. And sometimes we take things for granted. Like, we use our phones till like you've got 1%, 2% to say I'll charge at home. Yeah. What if something happened? Now, the good thing is that, look, uh, we are, our, our proud sponsors, Techno, have got these phones which can even last you for two days. The yeah. Yeah. Good. But, important thing, always keep charge on your phone. You never know when you're going to have an emergency. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, so, what about you? Have you had any life-threatening, maybe, uh, maybe occurrences, something that has happened which has changed your perspective towards security? Well, I have a lot of those and many times I've discovered that all these incidents happen around people you know and people who you are most likely in contact with. Yeah. It's usually inflicted. No, you know, a stranger won't just walk into your house anyhow. Right. A stranger right. won't just walk. It's someone who knows your inner workings and everything. Yeah, they, 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 they know where you keep this, where you keep that, where you do this. and. So I come and say, where is the money you received yesterday? Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're like, yesterday? Where did you? Like, we know. Yeah, and this is this intel you you know in addition to having you know like all the security things around security settings around your house yes. you also need to mind who knows yeah that information who keeps that information who, how many people know so so so, so what you're saying is that is that one of the first steps to security is ensuring that you don't let too many people into your inner circle yes that's it so what happened to you what's what's your story passwords password you mean like on the phone that's true. <laughs> because man, have you seen some guys there? They say, I mean, some guy pulls out his techno, just just, and he's in, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but but there are guys who are like, shoo, 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 shoo. <laughs> then you can open and you know before. Otherwise, if if you don't protect, I mean, you they just hacked some guys' mobile money, you know, just oh, last week. And, and, and that, this, yeah, that is going to be a discussion for one of our future shows, yeah. cyber security. You know, another thing I've learned. Yeah. yeah, you need to keep a little cash on you. Some kamani. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can call it some kamani. Because you know, you never know when you're, you're stuck. Like I had that incident. Yeah. I'm stuck two in the morning. I can't even take a border ride. And yeah. the guy can't even trust me. I don't have a phone. I've lost everything. Yeah. I'm, I'm one of those people who, <laughs> who's now looking for, like, where, where do I go? Like, for security solutions. Like, complete solution. I want a 360. Dude, dude, you're at the right place. The right place. I, I, have, have all those things made you rethink? First of all, trusting people. That's one. Uh, I'm not so sure about that anymore. <laughs> not so sure about I, I, think, I think one of the, the interesting things with technology solutions now is that security actually can be in the palm of your hand. Right. And I think one of the discussions we were having was the importance of being able to manage your own security. Yeah. And personal security should not be in the hands of someone else because just like you said, your, your maid was being compromised. Oh, yeah. Your dogs were compromised. Now, you see, you can't compromise CCTV cameras. You can't compromise an electric gate. You see, you can't compromise electric fencing. What are, are, are some habits or principles by which you live? One, um, I, don't, I don't take a drink that has not been served in front of me. Important. You can't. Important. I, you, you know that like people spike drinks and you wake up and find yourself somewhere else. I've had an experience. So that's, um, from that time, I've learnt. Whoa, you have whoa. to present the drink in front of me and, you know, if, and if, open it while if I'm it's watching. open, we are sharing. Or you take a sip first. Yes, you like but after what, what you What about serve. now with COVID? With COVID, that's different. We don't drink. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> number two, number two. Uh, number two, I always make sure that uh, I'm the last person to check the doors in the house. Yeah. And. You know, I have to, for example, I, I really make my bedtime, bedtime, bedtime for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, there's no negotiation with that. From that incident I had, uh, yeah. uh, I'm very, very mindful. And, and I don't take dogs for granted. Mm. Yeah, they still, maybe they need training, maybe, maybe they need school training. Maybe it's called the lockdown that affected them. I don't know. It's something there. But, that, but you trust them? That, well, I trust that they'll back. I will know yeah. when they yeah. back that there is activity. Correct. But I don't know about the guys offering them KFC. That's really. Well. 
Right. No, I pick it up from there. Of course, I'm a dog man. Uh, I mean, if, if when I'm directing, people just say Wari away in bois. So, so, so dogs certainly are, are the number one. Number two, you don't leave your keys uh, in the door. You know, you know. Sometimes you just lock and and the keys I there. That yes. helps. Uh, guys can still. I, I thought that helped. No, no, I, and I think that's the thing. Don't think that it helps because you see certain doors. I can push the key out, put a paper underneath, and pull. Oh, stop. There yes. you go, and That's then it. open, and you and wonder. And then you, you have provided Are these guys magic? Oh, where did they pass? Yes. Go on, so, you, so don't leave the keys in the door. Yeah. It's dangerous. And then uh, number three and three and a half. Uh, three is, uh, you know, like Micah, you, you have the remote thingy. Yes. Uh, you, I don't trust it. So you do twing, twing, but after you check. <laughs> because, uh, <laughs> yeah, so go twing, twing, and then just check because I've, I've done twing, twing before and I'm just come and found the doors open. Yeah. The hands of an African. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the yeah. eyes of an African are in yeah. his hands. Yeah. True. <laughs> so yeah, because. You have to cross check. I also, you know, subscribe to spiritual security. Um, uh, the Bible says in Psalms 127, unless the Lord watches, the watchmen watch Preach. in vain. Before we go to bed with the kids, we'll always pray, you know, for God's protection. And because oh. at the end of the day, if God is not watching, it's, it's useless. There, there's so many different things. And yeah. we'd like to ask you to send us in. What are your perspectives? What do you do when we're talking about personal security? Check all of our social media feeds. Send us your questions. Send us your, your perspectives. We'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, thank you so much for taking time out. It's been a, it's been a blast hanging out with you as we're celebrating you know, 58 years, you know, I want to celebrate a champion. Yeah. Oh, man, there's a guy who did it for me. <laughs> on, on Wednesday, you should have seen oh, him yeah. tearing apart Valencia. Yeah. You know, Chapter Guy has been for me the ultimate Ugandan. You know, you know how they say that we I as mean, Ugandans? they had him when he was at the airstrip. That he began like a Range Rover. Yes. Ended like a Vitz. I don't know what. Eh? You know, guys <laughs> dissed and what. But, you know, he's, he's bounced no back. And, oh, and no, look yes, at him. No, Who's no, laughing no. now? Congratulations to him. And, and, and happy Independence Weekend to all of you. So, do you have any idea why we're doing the second earlier security show? Well, we've got news for you. We caught up with the business development director right here at their offices at Kingdom Kampala, and she told us this. The Canelia Security Show is um, a celebration of our 20 years. So we want to share uh, different experiences people have had and learn from each other how we can better protect ourselves, our loved ones, our businesses. For the next few months, there's gonna be a lot of giveaways, a lot of promotions. Look out for the show, look out for our social media platforms. Look out for the anniversary week in November. And don't forget, we at Second Yulia believe that security is for everyone. So today we've been talking about personal security. But quick question, what would happen if somebody intruded in my property and something happened to them, who would be liable? What's the story behind it? We caught up with our legal consultants from Ballon Advocates, and this is what they had to say. Personal security entails taking reasonable steps to protect yourself from any form of physical harm, danger, abuse. That is personal security. It is provided for uh, in the Constitution, that is Article 22. It provides for a, a, a right to life. And the same way you have a right to life, therefore you have a right to protect your life. There is also another provision in the Constitution, that is Article 24, which provides for no one is supposed to be subjected to any form of cruel treatment, torture, and abuse. Now, if you have a right to life, if you are not supposed to be subjected to any kind of torture or inhuman or degrading treatment, therefore you have a right to protect yourself at your home. In the process of protecting yourself, you can install CCTV cameras, you can do electric fencing, you can hire dogs, you can hire night watchmen, 
you can have personal bodyguards, uh, any form of security to protect yourself. In law, we have a maxim called voluntin and fiti injuria, meaning voluntary assumption of risk. You cannot come to equity with dirty hands. You are a trespasser. You've come into my residence. Maybe you're a thief. If I injure you, honestly, I am not lying. Now, it is time for action. We've got two contestants who are going to be battling it out for a quarter of a million shillings. Ladies and gentlemen, on today's quiz competition, live on the Sekanyolia Security Show, please welcome Ivan and Irene. Oh, Kung Fu action! It's time for what they call the Sekanyolia Security Challenge. We're bringing it today. It is super speed. To the left, I've got Ivan. To my right, I've got Irene. Say hi to your fans. Hi. Hello. All right, let's enough. Lovey dovey, it's time for action. We've got 20 questions. Simple. We just got pictures. Every single picture, all we want you to do is tell us what is it. This particular show is brought to us by Centenary Bank. They're putting down hard cash for you. So, are you ready to handle the pressure? I'm ready. We want the person with the highest number of answers in the shortest amount of time. For 250,000 shillings from Centenary Bank. Start the clock now. That is an eye scanner. Next. That is a baton. Next. Next. Bulletproof jacket. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Next. Next. S CCTV. That is a CCTV camera. That's correct. Security padlock. A password padlock. Yes, a padlock. I'll take the answer. Next. Next. Let's move on. Let's move on. A security scanner. Metal detector. Yes, that is correct. That is a metal detector. That's a handheld metal detector. I'll take the point. Next. Next. That is a handcuff. That's a handcuff. That's correct. Next. Let's move on. Let's move on. Next. You want to move on? Move on. Let's move on. Uh, electric fencing. That is not electric fencing. Barbed wire fencing. That is not barbed wire fe fencing. Fe uh, barbed wire roller. <laughs> that, that is not a barbed wire roller. <laughs> next. Next. <laughs> oh, next. Move on. Spear. That's the spear. That's correct. Next. Next. Move on. Let's move on. Next. Move on. Let's go. I don't know. Let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, metal detector. Yes, that's a walkthrough metal detector. That's correct. Next. I don't know. Okie dokie. Walkie dokie is correct. Next. Next. It's a luggage scanner. Luggage scanner. Okay, I'll give it to you. It's an X-ray, but it's, it's a luggage scanner. Yeah, I'll give you the point. Give you the point. What a show. And if you were at home thinking that you could have won all these questions, please. This is 250,000 big ones. Proudly sponsored by Centenary Bank. We're going to put it in the bank account of one of these two lucky people. And they are going to walk away very happy. Our winner today on the Secanolia Security Speed Challenge, Mr. Ivan! <laughs> What a show, what a show, I can tell you. Next week, it can be you. Check online. We've got so many different questions, so many opportunities for you to win. And you can come up on stage here and show us your standards. We'd like to say a special thank you to all of our proud partners. A special thank you to Centenary Bank for sponsoring this segment. Special thank you to MTN. We'd like to say a special thank you to Kingdom Kampala, to Techno, and a very special thank you to Ballon Advocates. Let's catch up next week for more security tips. And remember, security is for everyone. I just want to congratulate Sekanyolia. Congratulations to Sekanyolia. Thanks and gratitude. Happy 20th to Sekanyolia. It is said that most Ugandan businesses don't live to see their second birthday. Not this one. It has made 20 birthdays. And we're celebrating Sekanyolia for inspiring most of us entrepreneurs to see the future and we know that the best is yet to come. Congratulations, happy 20th anniversary.